Ghost in the Shell is a live-action American adaptation of the manga and anime of the same name. It is a sci-fi action movie directed by Rupert Sanders and it stars Scarlett Johansson, Pilu Asbeck, Takeshi Kitano, Juliette Binoche and Michael Pitt. I have never ever seen the anime of the same name that came out in 1995, but I want to see it right now after we watch this movie, and I've also have never read the manga. So I'm one of those that went into this movie knowing pretty much nothing about it all, except that the anime and manga have some pretty deep philosophical themes, very interesting contrast between what makes humans humans and what makes a machine a machine. It sounds very interesting, honestly, and that is unfortunate because the live-action movie does not have a lot of those themes, doesn't tackle them full on, it's just kind of there with the story, which is very darn sad because visually it is an impressive, impressive movie. This futuristic setting is brought to life in a gorgeous way. There is an attention to detail that's truly outstanding. Most of the scenery is done with actual practical effects. The actors were on real sets for the majority of the time. It wasn't just a green screen or blue screen nonsense like the Star Wars prequels. There were real streets, real effects, even the geishas in the beginning of the movie, they were all done mechanically, they were not CGI. There are a lot of impressive effects in this movie. It is one of the best looking high sci-fi movies I've seen in quite some time, honestly. It looks very impressive. And the cinematography itself, from what I understand, it does take a lot of elements from the anime in terms of some shots, but generally it looks pretty darn good. It's a very clear movie to look at, there is no shaky cam, there are no weird close-ups, and that's also good because this movie, even though it's PG-13, it has a lot of violence, and since it's mainly on robots and on people that don't bleed, they can show everything, they can show just this spurt of mechanical parts going out of flying out of bodies. It looks fine, honestly I did not mind that. And acting wise, everyone does a pretty good job. It's Scarlett Johansson who plays Major, who is this robot with a ghost in herself, which is another person's humanity, personality, soul, something like that. Uh, she plays this mechanical robot pretty darn well. She already did that in Lucy, which was... Uh, worse than this movie. It's not necessarily a bad movie per se, but this one I liked it more, honestly. It was more enjoyable. And uh, the other actors as well, you have Philip Jabsbeck, however you pronounce his name. Uh, he was pretty darn good as uh, her sidekick, as her companion in this movie. And I especially liked seeing the man himself, Takeshi Kitano, in another American production of Johnny Mnemonic. He is great in this movie, and he's such a badass that he's the only one who speaks Japanese throughout the entire thing the only character, and uh, that's his power. Uh, if he says, well, I don't want to speak English, I want to speak Japanese, he can speak Japanese, everyone understands him, which is odd, to say the least, but still, I did not mind that. What I did mind was the story itself, because having such a franchise that surprised itself, because I understand and I do believe that the manga and the anime are way better story-wise, Having a franchise that is just so focused on philosophical and deep themes, on ambiguity, this movie was just too mainstream or too straightforward with its story, because it is a short movie, which surprised me. It's less than two hours long, which is rare in this period of cinema with uh, Hollywood productions. But the story is just... kind of flat, honestly. It's all about Major trying to find her identity, because she starts having glitches, she sees things that are not there. Where are these things coming from? Are they from the past of her ghost? Is, he re is she really just a machine, just a weapon used by this organization? Or is she something more? Is she more human? They don't really tackle all of that, they just say, well, yeah, she has a backstory, we explain her backstory in the end of the movie, uh, yada, yada, yada. She's human, yay, because even though people have sources, I don't want to spoil it, honestly, but still, it was just all too simple. <laughs> just, so, I hate saying it, but yeah, it's mainstream. If someone who does not want too many philosophical, deep things in their movies, they go watch this one, they say, yeah, the action was fine, the story was okay, yeah, but I enjoyed it, yeah, that's what a lot of people are going to say. I expected more, uh, it's definitely not a bad movie per se, as I've already said, technically speaking, 
fantastic. One of the best looking movies of the year, one of the best sci-fi movies I've seen from a purely technical standpoint. But in terms of actual story, it left a lot to be desired. I wanted more out of it, more character development and more ambiguity because it's one of those movies with double villain, you know, the, oh, we have to destroy this villain. Oh wait, this villain is not really all that evil. There is another villain who we thought was actually a good guy. It's the usual shtick, you can figure it out even from the trailers themselves. It's, it's sad, it's simple, but some are not going to mind it. I didn't mind it all that much, but I wanted more. So overall, Ghost in the Shell is a fairly, fairly competent, enjoyable action sci-fi movie that could have had a better story. It definitely could have, but honestly, for what it's worth, it's not a bad movie. It's fairly enjoyable, and I recommend seeing it in the theaters because the effects are gorgeous, the music is pretty kick-ass, and there are some action sequences that are very fun to watch, even though I expected them to be just slightly longer. Usually when there is an action scene in this movie, it's less than two minutes long. But still, guys, have you seen Ghost in the Shell, the original or this new remake? Tell me in the comments below and tell me what do you prefer. Thanks guys for watching, to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.